Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Can you build a gaming computer for just $400 that will play current games in March of 2018? You bet you can. This is part one of the Chevy Spark build. The Chevrolet Spark is the least expensive Chevy currently sold in America, and this is about the least expensive gaming computer you can currently build today from the ground up, and so it's been named the Chevy Spark build. This features the Ryzen 3 2200G APU with integrated Vega 8 graphics. It includes a 256 gigabyte solid state drive, eight gigabytes of dual channel DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM, the good stuff, not the cheap stuff, a very nice MSI B350 overclockable gaming motherboard with some very nice features on it, a 500 watt 80 plus bronze power supply that is a really nice unit, and then a very nice micro ATX case with room for a micro ATX board, even as some plastic on the front and the sides so you can build yourself something nice looking if you want. This machine will more or less play all current games on the market, even Grand Theft Auto V, Battlefield 1, Players Unknown Battleground, Fortnite, and many others. Link down in the video description below will be my Will It Play playlist. I have tested a bunch of games on that CPU. Real-time gameplay, real-time performance shown in those videos. So if you want to see the list, click on it and you'll see the whole list of games. You can watch the ones you want benchmark charts at the end of each of those videos. But the short version is, if you are willing to compromise on resolution or detail, no, it's not 1080p high detail on everything, but if you're willing to compromise on detail or resolution, you can pretty much play everything today on this complete $400 build. Considering the current price of graphics cards and even RAM and SSDs in March of 2018 when I'm filming this, that's not bad. Now in this video series, I'm going to actually put this whole computer together. I'm going to show it to you all assembled. I'm also going to talk to you about some alternatives and customizations you can make. For example, spend $10 more on the motherboard if you want one with four RAM slots for future upgradability. There is the Ryzen 5 we'll talk about, but that kind of kicks everything up. There's not a hard drive in here, and that's a consideration to take into account. There is a taller version of this called the Masterbox Lite 5 and so on. Lots of little customizations you can do, but we'll talk about that in the next video. But the short, short version is this is a real honest to goodness computer you can buy today right now, or rather buy the parts and put it together yourself for $400. Windows 10, keyboard and mouse are not included. You pick those out yourself. Windows 10 is $14. Link to that down in the description below. I've done a video recently, or rather Fem did, who's a co-host on my channel, did a video on how to get Windows 10 for $14. But many people already have their own keyboards, mice, hard drives, etc., and they simply want to put together a computer. And yes, this really will do it. It's not an exaggeration, and links to all these parts to both Amazon and Newegg will be down in the description below. Please note, to get the best price, some of these parts have to be bought from Amazon and some have to be bought from Newegg. It's very difficult to get the lowest price on everything from one store. The RAM, for example, is less than Newegg and then some other parts are less than Amazon. So check those links down there if you want to put together this machine. A number of the items on the desk I've already done videos or reviews of. This case, for example, I've already shown you it around. There's a video, there'll be a link to that video in the description below. This motherboard has already been unboxed. I've shown you all of its features in a previous video, link to that in the description below. And this solid state drive, which I recently did a giveaway on, but that's over at the moment, I'm sorry. But this is also very good for the price, no issues whatsoever. This power supply has not yet gotten a review, but it will before I actually get this all built. And then I have not done a proper Ryzen APU review yet, but that will also come in the process of putting this together. But I've extensively used it. As I mentioned before, there's a whole playlist of game performance videos down below. I've spent many, many hours using this and the Ryzen 5 version so that I can sit here and talk to you about it from experience and not just reading to you the product spec sheets. The Ryzen 3 2200G is a four core, four thread processor up to 3.7 gigahertz turbo speed out of the box, but it's unlocked and overclockable on that motherboard. It has Vega 8 integrated graphics, which are miles ahead of anything Intel makes. Frankly, they are in the GT1030 or RX 550 performance range, a little bit slower, but really, really close. The value there for $99 is absolutely incredible. 
The motherboard here for $65 is also a huge value for the money. It's a micro ATX board, but it's nice looking with the red and black accents. It has built-in LAN, built-in audio. It has place to install an additional graphics card in the future. If you want to upgrade from this to say a GTX 1060 or an RX 580 or whatever the next models on those lines are, it will absolutely handle it. It will take more RAM, but it only has two RAM slots and you'll have to replace the RAM. There's a $10 upgrade option to this called the Bazooka motherboard, which has four RAM slots and is very similar, except it's black and white instead of black and red. But for 65, that's a great value for the money. Now we have eight gigs of RAM. There's no way to put 16 in here without raising the price from 400 to 500, which is an option. But it is DDR4-3200, and that is important because the integrated graphics uses your main system RAM. There's no dedicated VRAM. And many games will use two of your eight gigabytes of RAM, and so the faster RAM enables the games to run faster. All of the performance videos down below are on DDR4-3200. Now you can buy 2400 or 2666 and it will save you money. Not enough to bother with. You're talking about $20. $20 on a $400 system to lose that much RAM speed when your graphics uses the RAM? Don't bother. Spend the extra 20 Get yourself the 3200 Now 256 gigabytes of solid st state drive space is wonderful. For the same money, you can have a two terabyte hard drive, but hard drives are slow and frankly, in my opinion, awful and I won't use them. So there's an SSD, but it's an option to replace this with a two terabyte drive for basically the same money. Now this is about 15 to $20 less expensive than the other choices, but for this system, don't spend the money, buy this at $65. That is amazing value. The performance is great and I have no problems recommending that whatsoever. Now, as far as the case goes, cases are highly subjective in terms of personal choice. This comes in a tempered glass and a non-tempered glass version. I have priced the non-tempered glass version, even though this is actually the tempered glass version because that's what Cooler Master sent me. But in my opinion, unless you really want the glass, buy the non-tempered glass version. It weighs less, there's no glass to break, and you save a bunch of money in the process. But that's a personal choice. I'll link to both of those down below. It has all the room you need, all the space for cooling and fans, for this type of CPU and enough room to install a mid-level two to 300 R graphics card in the future. Want more? It's not the right case. Want a Ryzen 5 1600X with aftermarket cooling? Want a GTX 1080? No, it's completely the wrong case for that, but that's not what we're building. It's a nice value at just $38, at least when I was filming this video. So consider something like this, or if you want more space, than the five version instead of the three. Now this power supply is a heck of a deal. 500 watts, 80 plus bronze efficient. It's at least 85% efficient in the 20 to 80% power curve. It's got all the connectors you need, including two PCI Express power connectors for future video cards, uh, spaces for SSDs, hard drives, etc. For the current price after mail-in rebate of $30, at least when I was recording this video, that is an amazing deal for the money. You can save $5, maybe $10 by buying a non-certified power supply, by buying something cheaper, no name. Don't bother. This gives you room for growth. This would be powerful enough to run a GTX 1070 or 1080. This would even run, say, an RX Vega 56 in the future, which doesn't really belong in this case, but it will do it. It gives you options. Three-year warranty on this. Nice unit. As I mentioned before, everything here is linked down below. Please put your thoughts, comments, and suggestions down in the comment section. Yes, there will be a build video on this. Yes, I will show it to you put together, turned on, and all of that. I don't do that in all of my builds. Sometimes I just have the things sitting here all complete, but I will do it on this one. It's a pretty straightforward and simple build. Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button directly below. Questions and comments in the comment section and check the links in the video description. Those are affiliate links. They do support the channel. If you like my content in general, if you like that very detailed full playlist of Will It Play videos, if you want to support me, remember to use those when shopping if you found this useful and informative. I would greatly appreciate it and you'll get lots more videos that way. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.